Hi guys, I uh, just want to do a little video on Ohm's Law. Um, this is because I've been asked a, a couple of times by a few people about how I worked out that the resistance on the immersion element across live and neutral should be 20 ohms. Um, it all comes down to Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law, you can have a look on Google, but I'll give you a, a brief understanding of it. It's basically this triangle. You've got your volts, you've got your current, and you've got your resistance. So depending on which value you're looking to work out, you can rejig things around. So if you need to work out voltage, it's current times resistance. If you need to work out your current, it's voltage divided by resistance. And if you want resistance, it's voltage divided by current. So V equals IR is your general formula. And then you just move things around depending on what you're trying to work out. Now it's very important that this is a dead test. So you make sure that there's no power going to it. Uh, to the appliance that you're testing um, there is a completely dead test if you do try and check resistance while it's live um, things will probably go bang um, so what you're testing across is your live and neutral terminals um, and your general formula like i said is volts equals current times resistance now generally a lot of the appliances that we work on a day-to-day -day basis will be protected by a 13 amp fuse in the uk we're working off a 240 volt supply so our general formula is going to be 240 equals 13 amps times the resistance. And that's the resistance value that we're looking to, to work out. So to work out R, you just move the 13 over. So you get 240 divided by 13, which is 18.46 ohms, which you can approximately say is 20 ohms. Now, as long as you've got 20 ohms or there or thereabouts, this proves that the appliance that you're testing does not have a short circuit. Uh, and it's safe to use so it means when you switch it on it's not going to go bang if you're getting open line or if you're getting mega ohms or you know some weird values then don't turn it on it means that there's a potential short circuit within that appliance um, and it's not safe to use now when we're testing for short circuit on boilers it's slightly different because boilers are protected by a 3 amp fuse so all we're doing is we're just swapping this value from a 13 to a 3 uh, because that's the um that's the fuse that's protecting the boiler. So you do 240 divided by 3, which gives you exactly 80 ohms. So again, it's a dead test, power off to the boiler, uh, checking for terminals across live and neutral, and you're looking for 80 ohms or there or thereabouts. This means that when you do turn the power onto the boiler, it's not going to go bang, it's not going to blow a fuse, uh, and it's safe for it to turn on. And it means that if there is a fault in the boiler, if something's tripping it out, it's not the incoming supply, it's going to be something to do within the boiler, like a component, pump, fan, anything like that. Um, so this is just to give you a quick overview of Ohm's Law um, and how you can test immersion elements to make sure that they're in good condition or if they do need changing. Um, part of your safe isolation procedure for when you're testing boilers as well. Um, so yeah, just make a note of this formula and um, screenshot this page if you want. Hopefully it helps you guys out and um, yeah, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know if there's anything more that you guys would like to know. All right, here's one on how to test an immersion. So residents reported that the immersion's not been working. When I first came to look at it, you can see that there's signs of leaks or burning marks on the immersion. Get your mark meter out, set it to ohms. And then first what you want to do is check between live and neutral with the power off. I've got open line. That should be reading 20 ohms or there or thereabouts. So the resistance is not there. So that means um, the immersion's faulty. Or you're going to get a stupid figure like that, 32 mega ohms. Do the same between live and earth. And again, you're going to get some silly figures. So that immersion's gone. 